Hi guys and welcome back to the Ren FC Away Days and James. Not joined today by Adam because it's a bit too early for him. Uh, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Fixtures have just been released and uh, yeah, I'm going to be giving you guys them right now. Uh, pretty interesting. A lot of people were um, not too happy with some of the away fixtures. Obviously Brentford and Newcastle have been on uh, Tuesday slash Wednesday nights. But uh, yeah, I'll give you like, kind of a rundown of them and uh, yeah, kind of explain to you guys all the fixtures and stuff like that. So to begin, we're going to uh, go into August and first game of the season. is actually our last home game of the season as well, last year. Uh, we're actually going to be playing Preston at home. So, um, yeah, it should be a pretty interesting one. See kind of how the team's developed over the last couple of uh, months uh, compared to when Brian McDermott was there, compared to Yap Stan. Kind of fair in almost a sense because that was a lot of people's last game for Brian McDermott. And it will kind of be a lot, well, it will be mostly everyone's first game for Yap Stan as well. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see. Um, how Stam can do there. But the second game of the season and the first away game of the season will actually be away to Wolves. Um, should be a pretty interesting fixture. Obviously, I uh, played Wolves on Boxing Day last year. Uh, picked up a 1 0 loss, and two years ago, we beat them 2 1. So, um, yeah, it's pretty interesting to see uh, how we do it. Wolves obviously will be there. We're going to try and cover every single away game and home game, obviously, this year as well. So, um, yeah, it should be pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, we're going to try and do that for you guys. I'm not 100% sure if we can go to every single specific game, but um, yeah, we'll try our hardest to uh, get to every game possible. But uh, yeah, Wolves, first home game of the season, um, don't really mind, to be honest, it's just an away game at the end of the day, ain't it? So uh, yeah, the next fixture, obviously we'll have a Capital One Cup game in between Wolves and, um, Wolves and Preston. But um, yeah, the next game is actually a Wednesday and we'll be playing uh, away to Newcastle, something that a lot... A lot, a lot of people are not happy about. Uh, we're away to Newcastle on the 17th of August, I think it is. Um, and a lot of people aren't happy because it's a Wednesday night. I don't mind. Um, I'll be going. Uh, Adam will probably be going as well, with me, obviously. And, um, yeah, I don't mind that uh, Newcastle's on a Wednesday. A lot of people complain about it. But, um, yeah, honestly, I don't mind um, Newcastle's a Wednesday night. Oh, well, looks like I'm going to have to take a Wednesday night out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're going to be up in Newcastle, which should be absolutely fantastic and pretty fun as well. So after that, we've uh, got two more games. Um, obviously, we'll be playing uh, both Saturdays. Uh, we're at home to Brighton, which uh, was kind of earlier in the season last year as well. And also we'll be playing Cardiff away on the Reading Festival weekend. So anyone who's not going to Reading Festival, I'll be there in Cardiff. Obviously, we were there last year. And uh, yeah, I'll be there again. But um, yeah, that's the end of August. And I'll take an international break after that. And we're playing Ipswich at home and Birmingham at home but on a Saturday and a Tuesday. And then we've got Barnsley away, which uh, was one of Adam's higher upper lists on um, our top five away days, which we did yesterday. Um, and also Huddersfield at home on the 24th. And then finally, uh, Brentford is actually an away game this year on the 27th of September. Again, I'm not too happy about, uh, well, this time I'm not too happy about Brentford being away on a Tuesday. Because last year I enjoyed it in the sun, I stood in the terrace just singing having fun. But, um, yeah, not sure too many people will go this time, obviously. It's a Tuesday night. People got work slash school the next day. But, um, yeah, I'll be going. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a shame. But, oh, well, um, I'll, I'll still be there. So, yeah, going into October now. Um, first game of October is actually the 1st of October. We've got Derby at home. Then we kind of take another international break. And then we got to wait till the 15th of October for QPR away, which obviously we'll be going to again. Um... Then we've got Villa at home on a Tuesday, Rotherham away on a Saturday, which we'll be going to uh, 22nd of October. We'll actually be going to Rotherham this time, because the last two years, both been Tuesday night games, right at the end of the season when we don't really need them. Uh, well, last year was the start of the season. But um, yeah, both been Tuesday games, and this year was on a Saturday, so we'll be going to that. And uh, yeah, Nottingham Forest as well, uh, rounds off October, and that's a home game. Then in uh, November, we don't have too many fixtures, actually. we got just the three. Uh, we've got Wigan away on Saturday the 5th. Uh, then we've got Burton Albion at home on the 19th of November. And then finally on the 26th of November we have uh, Bristol City at home. So that's kind of them ones. <laughs> There's nothing really to it at the end of the day. It's just three games there really. It's just... It should be nine points really, judging by who they are. It should be nine points. Uh, going into December... First away game of December is Fulham. We've got actually quite a few fixtures in December. So we've got Fulham away first game of the December. Third, that is uh, Sheffield Wednesday at home on the 10th. And we've got Leeds away on the 13th, which is a Tuesday. And then Blackburn away on the 17th. Not too sure if we're going to go to that one. Obviously, we did that last game of the season. And it wasn't really the best. It wasn't really the funnest either. 
Uh, then we've got Norwich at home on Boxing Day. And then New Year's Eve we'll be playing at Fulham at home as well. So we've actually got two home games over the uh, Christmas period for once. Um, pretty sure the last two years have both been uh, away games. So I'm pretty happy about that. We're able to go for a home game. And then uh, the day after New Year's Day, uh, we'll be playing Bristol City at uh, um, Bristol City away on the 2nd of Monday. 3 o'clock kickoff. That should be pretty interesting. That should be a pretty fun game as well. Um, going down up to Bristol. Well, to the side really to, to Bristol so um, yeah it should be pretty fun looking forward to that one and uh, then obviously we take a 12 day break uh, probably for internationals or maybe the players just recuperating <laughs> um, yeah we've got QPR at home and uh, Derby away on the 21st of January which will be pretty interesting uh, obviously went to Derby two years ago last game of the season Adam said he wouldn't mind going back there I wouldn't mind going back there either it's a pretty fun day out uh, and then we've got Cardiff at home on the 28th of January and Birmingham away on the 31st of January, which is actually a Tuesday night. So uh, I'm not sure if we're able to go to Birmingham. Obviously, we went last year. It wasn't really the funnest experience. Obviously, um, Sam missing the penalty and then Cox missing the open goal at the end. Tish Bowler having his goal, deal, um, goal ruled out as well, which obviously wasn't the best. Um, but yeah, then in February, we've got Ipswich away on the 4th. Um, then we've got Barnsley at home and Brentford at home, two back-to-back -back home games. Uh, then we've got two back-to-back -back away games. Uh, we've got Huddersfield away on the Saturday the 18th of February and Brighton away on Saturday the 25th. So that should be pretty interesting. Obviously, Brighton away, one of the games we want to go to. Huddersfield as well. Been there before, but we haven't actually done a video on it. So, um, yeah, probably go end up going to that. And, uh, yeah, then in March, we've got uh, Wolves at home and Newcastle at home. Uh, Newcastle's actually on a Tuesday, so we're probably not going to get the full Newcastle away support coming down to us, which is a shame because I don't know why the EFL have done that. Uh, but yeah, then we've got another back-to-back -back away games. Uh, we've got Saturday the 11th of March, we've got Preston away. And Saturday the 18th of March, we've got um, Sheffield Wednesday away. So that should be pretty fun and interesting. Obviously, just again, two championship teams we played last year. Both away games that we didn't go to. Um, we were going to go to both, but we ended up didn't because obviously personal reasons. And uh, yeah, in April, we got about two, four, six, two, four, six, seven, seven games in April. Seven. So to begin, we've got Saturday the 1st against um, Leeds, which is a home game. Then we've got Blackburn at home on the 4th. Then we've got Norwich away on the Saturday on the 8th, which uh, we'll be going to. Uh, then we've got on the 15th of um, April, which is a Saturday as well, we've got Aston Villa away. We've got back-to-back -back relegated Premier League teams. Um, then we've got Monday the 17th, a home fixture against Rotherham, which I think is the bank holiday. Um, then we got Forest with the second last away game of the season on the 22nd of April. And then the 29th of April, we have Wigan at home. And then finally, to round off the season, we'll be playing Burton Albion away. And uh, yeah, that's the game that I was most looking forward to going. And they've made it the last game of the season. So uh, yeah, that's a real shame. But yeah, the um, Cup of One Cup fixtures come out on 1pm uh, today. So uh, yeah, that'll be out then. Um, I don't know, I don't mind the fixtures, I actually quite like them as a whole, obviously they've kind of suited our away day schedule, um, obviously they've got Newcastle away kind of at the start, because we kind of need that, um, kind of need that for us as well to grow if that makes sense. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for today's video guys, I hope you have all enjoyed it, I've right, just kind of been reading off the fixtures, probably make a separate video about the Capital One Cup first round fixtures coming out, hopefully we get Oxford away, come on please. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video guys. Hope you've all enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash that like button and uh, tell us what you think of the fixtures down below. And um, yeah, what away game will you be looking forward to the most? So uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video and we'll see you then. Peace.